Hey Basement Collective, welcome to another battle report. Today we have another new guy. He, his name is Dante. He was originally from Sudbury. He has moved to Timmins for work, but it's nice to have him here. Anyways, today we're playing uh, Blood Angels versus Grey Knights. This is the table. Uh, you might recognize Dante. He's actually been on mini war gaming before, like myself. And uh, we're gonna play Maelstrom of War, missions, and what type of deployment do you want to do, Dante? Uh, as long as it's not the diagonal. Oh, the, I hate that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll roll a we'll roll a D we'll roll a D two and see what's to come. But anyways, this is the table. This is what it looks like. Uh, we'll come back to you after we set up the armies and we'll go through the army lists. And here we have 1,500 points of Grey Knights. I chose to not take any Dread Knights. I told Dante I wouldn't because Dread Knights are rude and I wanted to play something different. So we have three of the same squads. This can be considered a spammy you, a spammy list, but who cares? Uh, three Paladin squads. Now they both have uh, what looks like two side cannons, but those aren't side cannons. Those are going to be incinerators because I'm not sure if side cannons are worth taking anymore. So three squads of purifiers, all with two incinerators. One halberd, one sword, and one hammer. The halberd guys are going to be the Justicars, and they have each a rhino. We have a level 3 librarian with uh, Liber, Demonicus, something, what is that called? Um, whatever, the one that gives him an extra psychic power and uh, rerolls ones for anything within 6 inches of him. And then we have five, four of the exact same Terminator squads, Thunder Hammer, Side Cannon, Two swords and two halberds, and one of the halberds guys is the Justicars. And there you have 1500 points of Grey Knights. We'll come back with Dante's Blood Angel list. And here we have Dante's 1500 points of Blood Angels. Take us through what we have, Dante. Alright, we'll just start over in this end. Uh, five men assault squad in a rhino. They don't have the Razorback, the jetpacks. No, they get a rhino for free instead. Uh, mm -hmm. Bow Predator. Exactly as it seems, side spots and bolters, uh, assault cannons, and a dozer blade. Just five tactical marines, just bare bones, chill in the back. Furioso Dread with frag cannon. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, and Melta on the other arm. Storm Raven with last cannons and multi meltas. It also has five death company. This guy will have a power sword because I don't have a wood power sword right now. The man, the legend, Dante. Sweet looking uh, model. It's awesome. What, what miniature is that? Skibor? Uh, yeah, Cyber? Skibber, Cyber, whoever. It's a sweet whoever looking it model. It's awesome. Oh, wait, and what's his squad? Um, He'll be in this squad so he gets feeling no pain. Uh, this is my command squad, so that's the guy with the power sword and the shield. Uh, the priest in that squad. Three, veter uh, three veterans with Meltas and a drop pod. Um, a tactical squad, one Melta, the sergeant has two Melta pistols, and the librarian, which is my HQ and my warlord. In actually no, not to my warlord because it actually matters this time. Um, so yeah, they're in a drop pod, and then another tactical squad, Melta, two Melta pistols, and a drop pod. And there you have 1,500 points of Blood Angels. Uh, Dante, let's roll to see what mission we're gonna play. Right. I'll grab our dice. The Dice Tin, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Tin. I want to get my special edition blood angels. Oh yes, yeah, so you can roll some ones. Yeah. Okay, so the mission is going to be number six. Robot! I have a robot right here. Okay. Mission number six. Okay, and our mission is Maelstrom mission number six. Deadlock, uh, oh, at turn one you get six and then it goes down like that. Yep. Do you have a maximum of number you can get? Oh, you have to discard until you have the correct number remaining. Okay, Deadlock, uh, let's roll. We'll come back after we, uh, actually, let's set the objectives up now. See who places the first one. I roll the three. Two. The symbols are Okay guys, so we have deployment. Basically, it's pretty null deployment. I have three rhinos. One, two, three. These guys are on reserve. I played a Nemesis Strike Force, so they get to come in first turn, possibly. But those guys are the rhinos. Dante has his tactical squad. Ball Predator and Rhino. Everything else is in reserve. But two drop pods coming in first turn. Yeah. Uh, for psychic powers, my Warlord knows Precognition, Skyer's Gaze, 
Misfortune and Prescience on the Divination table, so I rolled uh, all the crappy Divination ones except for Prescience. And then he got, from the War Gear, he gets a Gate of Infinity, which is good. So uh, that's pretty good. That's, in my opinion, the best Psychic Power in there. Other than Sanctuary, he's pretty solid. And uh, his my Warlord Train, I rolled on the Tactical table, and I got my Librarians, my Warlord, obviously. And I got that on my first turn. If I don't like my cards, I can immediately um, grab all of them, grab different ones, which is good because we're playing the one where you start off with six. And Dante, what's your uh, psychic powers here? I rolled on Biomancy, and I got Hemorrhage and Smite. Of course, you have Force, and your Warlord yep. trait is Dante, uh, Descent my of Angels. trait is Descent of Angels, yeah. So uh, if I have pretty much any unit type aside from Drop Pod, I can reroll their... Uh, reserve rolls, and then if I have the jump unit type, I only scatter D6. Very good, and he also gets to roll an extra tactical trait because yep. that's Dante's thing. What did you get? I got I can discard two tactical objectives a turn instead of one. I always want to get the one where you get to roll the D3 for getting D3. I got that once. It's so good. It is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Dante, let's see if you can seize the initiative. If not, we'll go into my first turn. Oh, oh that close. is a five. Where's Cote as when you need him? Okay, so we'll go into um, Grey Knight's first turn. And it is not, not fight, fighting? Not no. Yes yeah. So uh, we're at turn five. If we remember, we probably won't. Yeah. Alright, so let's go for the objectives for Grey Knight's turn one. Okay, now Grey Knight's turn, I get six. Uh, destroy the demon. If at least one enemy unit with the demon special, since there are no demons, let's I get to discard that. Very good. Secure objective four. Right there. Uh, Rhino might be able to get that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Witch Hunter. Oh, I do have a librarian in my army. Blood and Guts. Secure Objective 6. Right there. Lucky. Overwhelming Firepower. I should be able to do that. Secure Objective 5. Right here. Oh, it might be over here. No, it's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these and not discard them. So we're going to come back. Actually, you know what? I'll roll for reserves. Uh, we got my Librarian squad with the Terminators. Not in. Three other Terminator squads. Three oh. are in. So the Librarian squad's just off for the turn. We'll come back at the end of Grey Knight, turn one. And there we have first turn pretty quick. Uh, all three of my Terminator squads deep struck there. These ones deep struck on the, um, the objective. And uh, with combined shooting of all the side cannons, I took out the ball predator for first blood. I claim objective five, objective four, objective six, and overwhelming firepower, because I killed the ball predator and first blood. So I got five points, and I am actually gonna throw a witch hunter. Scared of my sight. Yeah, I'm scared of you about one <laughs> sucker. And there we have blood angel, no, not Blood Angel. Grey Knight, turn one. Five points. And Dante, uh, six objectives. Score one to point of five objective marker one. I think that's in my zone. No, it's not. No. Uh, There's three. Oh, one's right here. One's right there. Sweet. Uh, completely destroyed in the assault phase. That's a good one to have. Probably right not this. happening. This uh, I have to make you fail a morale, pinning, or fear check. I need every objective marker on the table. These cards hate you. I know. These one enemy flyer, flying rush creature, you don't have that. Objective marker five. Back there. And objective marker five. I think objective marker five is one of the ones back here. Good thing you have drop pods. Objective yeah. six. Objective five's up in that right there. Up in here? Yep. Are you did you take the CAD or your blood angel formation? CAD. Just throw some troops on there and you'll yep. steal it from me. There you have for Blood Angels turn one. End of Blood Angels turn, he scores. Scored objective five twice. Okay. Objective one. And then I'm going to discard this one. You're not going to discard Domination? Okay. Mm. You have a better chance to get a Psychological War for the Domination. I don't know. Because I can definitely destroy something in assault. Don't take yeah. it out by himself. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to just guard domination, but I will get rid of this one. 
Sweet. Because it's hard to make people fail leadership training. And what happened? What well, Marines at least did? What happened? I blew up, not blew up a rhino. I wrecked a rhino. Uh, one rhino has to make snapshots. You. That's it. And he, he's in a lot better position for capturing objectives than I am. Because I stupidly put all three of my Terminator squads right here. And now they kind of stuck there. But we'll see what that happens. That bell predator took all your attention. Yeah. Grey Knight, turn two. My objectives, I get five. I have blood and guts. Gotta destroy something in this, the assault phase. Secure objective two, right here. There is a, what's it called? A uh, drop out hole in that, so I have to destroy that. Yay, I got my own domination. Bastard. Demolitions, we're not playing in vehicles. No, I mean, uh, gun emplacements or behind enemy lines with three of my units. No, one of my units. If I got three or more, I get D3. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Secure objective five. Ah, oh, the two objectives you're on. Does oh, well. that steal the loot? No. Oh. That's, uh, I think that's five. Ah, oh, one off. And we'll come back. Oh, let's see if my other Terminator Squad Librarian comes in. They do! No. We'll come back at the end of my turn two for Grey Knights. At the end of the Grey Knights turn two, uh, this Rhino moved up. These guys shot Cloudy Flame and two Flamers. Well, I went to shoot it from here, killed only three guys from the squad. He made some good saves. Uh, these Terminators shot and killed, uh, shot and charged the tactical squad here. These Marines shot and charged the assault squad, the tactical squad right there. These two squads both shot the Rhino and it has one whole point left, unfortunately. Yay. And then I just did some repositioning. I did not secure objective 2 or 5, so I will keep those. I'm going to throw Domination, because that's a piece of junk. I did get Blood and Guts. I did only kill 2 units in the shooting phase. In this, like, uh, in this combat phase. And I do have D3. I do have 3 units behind enemy lines. Yeah. So I roll D3. Get a 1. A uh, 3. So, that's going to put me up 2. Those are my 3 extra. One, 9 points. To my 4. To your 4. Still... Okay. Still not, still not that far away. Nope. We're going to Blood Angels, turn Thank two. You. So our first objective, successfully manifested a psychic power. Oh no. Oh, good luck. Just kill a unit. Uh, more units to kill, more points you get. Score a victory point if enemy was completely destroyed during your turn. Yep. I guess that's assault and, and shooting. Yep. And then if at least one vehicle or a monstrous creature was destroyed. And he kept domination and... Domination and... No, it's purge. Oh, sorry. Yeah, completely destroy three more units in my in my assault phase. So we will come back at the end of Blood Angels turn two. End of turn. Dante, uh, Dante, what do we get here? Uh, I got one victory point for scoring an enemy, oh, destroying an enemy no, unit. No, Almost got three, but I couldn't. I uh, destroyed an enemy vehicle. Yep. I'm now gonna just uh, discard Hardness the Warp because I can't do that no more. Really? Over domination? I, I can discard two of them. You could. I would discard domination. Oh, I've got other stuff coming in. Okay, he's got high hopes. He's, he's got, got high, hopes. high hopes. He's got. He's gonna be this the point first I need one it. to score it. <laughs> this point yeah. I need it. So. Okay, so what's yeah, that put you at? Uh, four, six, seven, two, three, four, no, five, 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 five to nine. Five. And what happened? Give us a quick breakdown. Uh, here. What happened? Dante shot down a rhino and hurt himself in the process. Yeah, Dante over there killed the rhino single-handedly. And then three mouths got rid of another rhino. Yep. While I ran his unit charged a bunch of grey knights and failed miserably. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. And that was about it. I lost one marine here and two marines yeah. over there. And my storm raven didn't come in. Even with rerolls. That's a 84% chance of coming in with your rerolls, and yeah, you failed. And I failed both. Sad face. Yeah. Anyways, we'll come back. Uh, we'll come to see you at the beginning of Grey Knight's turn three. So I have secure objective two, secure objective five. Kingslayer. Good luck. Deeds of Legend. Score one victory point if a Grey Knight character killed his opponent in a challenge. Uh, <laughs> if I kill the monstrous creature or an independent character, get D3 points instead. Those are my objectives. We'll come back to the end of Grey Knight turn five. Turn five. Wow, turn three. Turn three. End of turns for Grey Knight turn three. I captured objective two and five because I killed both drop pods. 
Uh, I'm not. I didn't get Kingslayer, and I am going to throw Deeds and Weed. Deeds and Legend. Deeds of Legends. Okay. I don't. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so it's 11 points to Dante's five. Um. Basically. Oh. Draw cards. No, not yet. I'm still explaining my end of oh, my turn. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, these guys. So uh, these guys killed the drop pod. These guys killed the drop pod. These guys are probably gonna die to Dante next turn. Yep. Because I was supposed to cast Gate of Infinity, but I forgot. Oh, these guys. Uh, this squad oh, shot the Rhino. This squad shot these guys and killed two of them. And all these charged the command squad. So Dante has a Storm Raven left oh, to come in. <laughs> So maybe left to come in. These three on the board, a drop pod, and Dante, but it's still not over yet, so we'll come back to see what Dante's cards are. Okay. I draw, score D3, vice, destroy your warlord. Sweet. And objective marker one. Right. Along with domination and blood and guts. <laughs> yes. Objective one is right here. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back at the My end. My destroyed rhino captures that. Turn uh, three. <laughs> turn three, four, storm rain. And Dante. And yeah, a turn, a what points did we capture? Didn't get your Warlord. Didn't get one because I forgot about it. Yeah, sure, something that's all things. Not yet. No, all blood and guts, blood angels, poor blood angels. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of Domination. <laughs> really? Yeah. And... One's going to be pretty hard to get. No, I can... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of one. Because it's kind of hard to get now. Okay, so because everything's dying because gray knights are lame. <laughs> <laughs> so Dante uh, came in and wrecked two of these terminators up, and the storm raven killed another three or two, oh, three, two, yeah, two, two. Uh, these his squad attempted to charge my gray knights. I made the save, and that was your turn. It will come to my turn four for gray knights. I have Kingslayer, secure objective six, right there. Recon, we're not playing with the mysterious objectives. Scour the sky, do I can do that. And we'll come back at the end of Grey Knight's turn four. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of my Blood Angel turn. Not your in your Grey Knight turn? My, well, just the end of my Grey Knight turn, I did something pretty cheesy. Uh, since my light brand new Gates of Infinity, he jumped away from Dante, hit over there. Coward. Yeah. Huge coward. He hurt himself in the process, though. He yeah, hurt himself he in the took process. a wound. Uh, cleansing Flame took one wound off of Dante, and then the combined shooting of all that took another wound, so Dante died, unfortunately. Uh, then everything else shot at the Storm Raven and did one wound to it. I claimed... Oh, I gotta run these guys. Oh, they don't get the objective. So I claimed Kingslayer. D3 points. Of course. Okay, well, I win the objectives. Yep. You want to continue playing? Not really. You, I know, but you can kill things. I know I can kill things, but you always have to kill. You should continue playing. You can, you can call. It's up to you. <laughs> call I'll just keep killing some support. things. He's gonna keep killing some things. He gave him the peer pressure. So, yeah, it looks like at this point I've won, unfortunately, because apparently my grenade list that I thought wasn't gonna be good was good still. It's just that grenades are fucking retarded. There are uh, young I'm losing, viewers. I'm losing combat. I'm gonna jump away because I'm a pussy. And hey, I well, I there are young can't. viewers now. Come on now. Pussy's not a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bleep that out in movies. I know. I'm just, I'm just bugging you. Anyways, yeah. So uh, we're gonna go into uh, Blood Angels turn four. Yeah. Dante, I think we've given up on the objectives. Yeah. What happened on your turn? Not a whole lot. You, uh, the Dreadnought wiped out a whole Purifier squad. And the Death Company took two losses and killed four ter three Terminators. What do you mean two losses? I took one loss. One loss. Sorry. <laughs> one loss. And I, I killed, and killed two Terminators. Two, two Terminators, yep. The and you made a five up save, which saved your Warlord. Yep. And we'll go on to turn five for the Grey Knights, possibly the last turn in the game. And what's the last turn? Okay, so at the end of. Blood Angels, we, we did Blood Angel and Grey Knight turn 5 together because I took everything out except, ex in my turn I took out everything except the Dreadnought and the Drop Pod. The Dreadnought on his turn... Grey Knights. Yep. The Dreadnought on his turn uh, killed four of the Terminators and then I would have took the Dreadnought out in the Drop Pod so I would have tabled him. But uh, that's a handshake at least.
It's a handshake for sure. Oh. The wrong hand. But well, this hand's right. over the camera. Left handshake. And we'll come back for a post game show. No, it's always had. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for watching on the Basement Collect the Battle Report. It took me a lot of convincing to get Dante in here because he didn't want to talk about it. I'm but anyways, because I'm just gonna rip on Great Axe Wild. Okay, we have Kevin and Dante, and thank you for watching that Battle Report. Yeah, that was a. Uh, I didn't think this Great Night list would do that, but it did. And that's the story Great of my Knights. Great Nights. I tabled him, unfortunately. I didn't take Dread Nights because I wanted to play a toned down list, but then I guess this wasn't a toned down list. With Grand it doesn't matter, you just get so many psychic powers that it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, so uh, uh... I'm losing combat, I better run away. But I, I could've played my... I should've played my Blood Angels, we should've done Blood Angels versus Blood Angels. I told you, better. but you, you, you never want to play Blood Angels because it's not cheesy enough Because they guys. suck! <laughs> I'm playing Blood Angels tomorrow against Dark Elder. Yes, because he told you a stipulation that he didn't want to play anything too powerful. You guys are saying it's not Codex Blood Angels, it's Codex Greater Dawn. Yeah. It's the only thing worth taking in that book. Dante was pretty sweet, although Mass Fire killed Dante. Mass yeah, Fire kills Dante. I didn't, well, I didn't know before this that you couldn't put him in a... In a yeah, we learned that you can't, Dante, unless, unless uh, it's a Storm Raven. Yeah, Dante can't be in a Drop Pod or a Rhino or anything like that due to the Jump Pod. You can only be in a Storm Raven. Yeah, so what's your overall thoughts about the game there, Dante? <laughs> Great nights. Very cheesy. <laughs> Doesn't really matter how you run them, I guess. Okay, uh, next time I'm just going to take all Dreadnoughts. I'm down list of all dread knights. I could end all. I could end all dread knights. Dread knights, all dread knights. Yeah, but uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, it was a pretty quick battle, but not pretty quick. It was pretty one-sided. Uh, the cards worked out for me in the uh, at the beginning, and not for him. It seems to happen a lot. I think tomorrow's game, we're gonna play. Mm, what do you call that? Well, the Eternal War. It would have worked out better too if my storm yeah. had to come in. Tomorrow. Yeah. Too. Yeah, you could have killed Tomorrow, one of them. Draw a death company. Which they're supposed to. Yeah, like, you got a 84% chance of it coming in with rerolls, and you failed. Oh, yeah. And And uh, his list was kind of screwed up because Dante was supposed to be with the command squad. Yeah. But the command squad and Dante had to come down separately because. Because he couldn't go in and drop up, which I didn't know. So uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, thank you for watching on the Basement Collective Battle Report. Uh, this is Dante once again. He's coming and visiting from Timmins. So He'll probably be in a couple more videos in the future, yeah. I can see. Uh, we have a couple guys. Actually, Scarry is going to be filming a battle port with us down up here, down here, depending where you are. Most likely up here, because most people are not this it's far north. Going. Yeah. We saw snow on the ground. It actually snowed today, April 10th, yeah. 11th. It was snowing. But it's going to melt tomorrow. It'll melt tomorrow, yeah. It's the 10th. It's the 10th, sorry. It's the 10th. Anyways, thank you for watching. I said anyways again, but that's cool. Thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Part. We have Kevin and Dante. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go and please do that. We also have a giveaway last Tuesday. Or last Tuesday, yeah, you have this video next week. So if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't entered that, go check out the video. Um, it's for 1,000 subscribers. We're at, we should be at about 700 right now, so we're ganging pretty quickly. Other than that, thank you for watching, guys, and have yourself a great day, and keep on wargaming.